Hi, Caleb and Steve with Brown Eyes here. Today we're back with another edition of Smithbusters. And today we're taking a look at the myth that you need to lap your scope rings. Steve, you familiar with that one? I'm familiar with it, and I have lapped scope rings in the past. As have I. And I have used others without lapping. So it's going to be one of those that all depends things. I'll tell you right up front. Yeah, and if you're looking for the best uh, precision fit between the scope and the rings, in most cases, you may need to lap them. In some cases, you don't. You really have to check it beforehand. And whenever we say lapping the scope rings, what we're actually talking about is lapping the inside of the rings themselves so that they are perfectly aligned with the scope tube uh, so that you get a nice, good contact all the way around the tube itself. And you're not putting any extra pressure on one way in the scope tube rather than the other. Right. Uh, so that's the purpose of lapping it. Now that we got have that established, um, whenever you take a look at one of the precision rings like this right here, it's all built on one piece. Uh, it's precision mach machined. These spur mounts with the, with these, you really get what you pay for. Yep. They're they're designed so that you don't have to lap them. You, you're not going to have to lap these. Now that's not to say that it has to be a one piece setup to be precision machined. You can have that in two piece setups. You can, especially if you've got a good solid rail to start with. Yeah. Um, the tops of an AR are usually machined pretty well. When you yep. clamp on a good set of tactical rings or something, they're going to be okay if you go with separate rings, that is. Um, but sometimes you're taking your chances with iffy mounts and, you know, some of the stuff is extruded, it's not precisely machined, and your scope rings might not be exactly in line with each other. Yeah, so with that being said, you can have the best two-piece precision machine scope rings. And if you're putting them on a base that's not properly aligned or something like that, right. it, it doesn't matter. Yeah. So the rings are only as good as the base. And you want to avoid putting pressure on your scope tube. Yep. You don't want to crimp it or put pressure on it to uh, keep it under tension the whole time. Yeah, so I would say this one is definitely plausible. There are still cases where you have to lap your scope rings. Uh, even with you know current technology and machining and things like that, it's it's still an issue. Right. Um, when you have your scope rings down, put the bottom halves down on your rail. See if the scope will just drop in there, not show any light around the edges or anything. Just it should drop all the way down to the very bottom without pushing. Yeah, and that's the that's the way to check it. Uh, it's something anybody can do at home whenever they're mounting their scope. So, yeah, definitely plausible. I'd say. Yeah, so for sure. Check your rings, they may need to be lapped. If not, great. So if you have any myths that you want us to take on, or if you have any comments on this one in particular, feel free to leave us a comment down below. And as always, give us a call on the tech line. We'll be happy to help you out. So thanks for joining us, and we'll catch you next time on another edition of Smithbusters. Busters.